Yo, what's up guys? It's x and welcome to a new Zombies video. In today's video, we're going to be covering the origins of the Ray Gun Mark II, and more importantly, the origins of the Ray Gun itself. Now, we are going to mention who created it, who did the designs, all that kind of good stuff, so stick around. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to slap a like and a favorite, and check out my channel if you guys are watching this somewhere else. But anyways, let's jump straight into the information, guys. So first of all, the original ray gun, we all know that Dr. Maxis was the one who created it, but a lot of people don't know that the actual ray gun was created using designs that were found in Shinonuma. So the actual designs were made by someone called H. Porter, which is a doctor who was kind of manufacturing and creating these guns. And then the ray gun is, is based off his designs, the ray gun when it's pack-a-punched, the wave gun, the zap gun, all of those, they're all created by this Dr. H. Porter. He is mentioned in some of the maps, like on Moon, where whenever you pack a punch, the wave gun, you know, Dr. Richtofen mentions Porter. So, uh, the actual Ray Gun Mark II, uh, this is really interesting. This is something I was actually tweeting about, too, a lot, and I was telling everybody that their mind was going to get blown. We should have known about the Ray Gun Mark II way, way before. We should have known about the Ray Gun Mark II in 2011 when black ops was still around now you guys are probably like what the hell is x-rays talking about rays what are you trying to tell us if you guys remember there was a computer in the room or in the start menu uh, where you were able to log in you were able to unlock the actual different maps that you could the zombie maps you could go in there and unlock them all without having to actually go through the campaign and you could see a couple of little tidbits and learn more about the zombie story max has mentioned sophia samantha fluffy and a bunch of other stuff but he also mentions the origins of the ray gun. So I'm going to show a picture on screen now for you guys to see what the actual screen looks like. And uh, I'll read to you guys what it says. So it says, uh, Dr. Ludwig Maxis origin de Reese facility, which is obviously where the ray gun was actually manufactured. Based on designs seized from Rising Sun facility at SNN, which is Shinonuma, powered by element 115, ray gun works on microwave technology and discharges a burst of green plasma energy between 220 to 230 volts, or V, I don't really know what that stands for. Second generation currently under development by H. Porter. So a lot of people probably read this and thought, well, second generation, maybe they mean an upgraded version of the ray gun, you know, the ray gun when you pack a punch it. And, you know, that's something that I was looking into as well, because I want to know, well, if it says this, it mentions a second generation ray gun, uh, then is there going to be a second generation Wonderwaff DG2? And I saw that one and it said, you know, second generation DG3, but DG3 is obviously the pack a punch version. So a lot of people probably read this part one like, oh, second generation probably means the pack a punch but no if you read a little bit further down it says second generation currently under development by h porter to reduce excessive peripheral damage what does this mean you know everyone obviously knows that when you use the ray gun it kind of has that splash damage that hits you back if you're aiming too close to yourself you aim at the ground or something and you end up uh, sometimes even going down so a lot of people when they get the ray gun they don't necessarily want to use it because they know that when they get into a bind they might accidentally screw themselves over and go down so the important thing it reduces excessive peripheral damage. What is one thing that the Ray Gun Mark II has that's different from the original Ray Gun is the fact that you don't get any splash damage. So this is <laughs> this is actually really awesome, guys, because a lot of people are like, well, who created the Ray Gun Mark II? It was actually H. Porter, who was the actual... He's an actual person. A lot of people don't know this as well. H. Porter is a name that they used because one of the developers for Treyarch, Max Porter, was actually the person who designed the ray gun for the zombies. Not in game, but a real person who developed, you know, hey, we're going to toss a ray gun into the game. You know, he tossed the idea and made the ray gun. So they kind of used his name and were like, okay, he's the doctor who created the designs within the storyline to create the ray gun, which is really awesome, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't think a lot of people know this. They probably heard Porter and thought, well, there's some doctor. Yes, he's an actual Treyarch developer who actually came up with the idea for the ray gun for the game. And on top of that, we it mentioned the ray gun Mark II in the original Black Ops. So we should have known about the ray gun Mark II for a super long time. Uh, something that I came across when I was doing a little bit of research on Black Ops and zombies and all that kind of stuff. So... If you guys enjoyed this information, guys, remember to slap a like and a favorite on the video. This one actually took a lot of digging to go through because I was like going through a bunch of different information and stuff. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please slap a like and a favorite. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you guys are watching this somewhere else again and you guys want to subscribe to my channel, some of the best zombie content out there you guys are going to find on this channel uh, on OG X-Ray. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check me out. Link in the description. And I'm X-Ray. I'm out. Peace.